Hey kiddos, here's another video. We're getting close to the end of module five. Um, and so want to go over this lesson 20 homework. It can be pretty confusing. Uh, by the way, click subscribe and be a subscriber like everybody else. Uh, pretty cool, come back again. And uh, I do try to help you guys out with your problem sets and a little bit of homework. I'm gonna try to make some more homework videos. So here we go. Module five, lesson 20. The objective here is to classify two-dimensional figures in a hierarchy based on properties. So uh, the hierarchy is so great. Have it in front of you. It's from your problem set book. Uh, if you can keep it in front of you the whole time, I'll just show you this is what it looks like, okay? When it's not blurry, there it is. And it's got all the shapes that are quadrilaterals that we've been studying, and it narrows down the definitions so that you can see all the attributes all lined up uh, right next to each other, and then we can use that to kind of help you through the yes, no, does it have this, does it have that. So how do you do this? All right, here, here we go. We're gonna follow the flow chart and put the names of the figures in the boxes. Now, all of the figures that we studied are quadrilaterals, okay? Yes, yes, they are. There's no other answer for this because the only things we've studied in module five, five have been quadrilaterals. None of these are about triangles, so yes. Now, did, did all of them have four right angles? Well, no, some of them did not. So some of them we're gonna get to down here, but for now, you're gonna focus on those that did have four right angles. So if you're talking about a shape that's a quadrilateral and it has four right angles, you have two choices. And what are they? Okay, now here, here are your two choices. Something here and something here. So what is that last attribute that you have to consider? Are four sides of equal length, yes or no? If it's a quadrilateral and it has four right angles and four sides of equal length, you have one choice and it is a square. Okay, so you're gonna fill in the name of the figure in the boxes here. And that's how you do this page. Now, if you think you can handle it, you just pause the video and you answer all these on your own. See if you can do the yes, no's correctly. Come back in a few seconds. And here we are back. Okay, <clears throat> if you don't have four sides of equal length and you still have a quadrilateral with four right angles, what do you have? You have a rectangle. Okay, now these are done because we've taken care of the four <clears throat> sides of equal length and the four right angles. If they don't have four right angles and that is not a consideration, then we're gonna move on to this attribute. Does your quadrilateral have two sets of opposite angles the same size? Now, here they kind of toss this in after talking all about the sides and the parallel sides they take this one little attribute of the two sets of opposite angles of the same size. So now we're talking about parallelograms because that's one of the attributes that parallelograms have. So all the different parallelograms we studied, well, if we do have two sets of opposite angles the same size, yes, are four sides of equal length, now you have to consider, well, if we have four sides that are equal, and that's kind of like this one here, but nothing about right angles, it does not have four right angles, what is that shape? That's your rhombus, okay? Now if you don't have four equal sides, no you don't, but you still have two sets of opposite angles the same size, then you're talking about the parallelogram on that one. Okay, so we're narrowing down. Now, let's say we look at this description and we say, no, those two sets of opposite angles are not the same size. I don't have, um, I don't have that attribute. So what do I have then? Well, do I have uh, two pairs of equal sides that are adjacent, okay? Now, if we have at least one pair of parallel sides, okay, and so we're not worried about those, those opposite angles being the same, and we do have at least one par pair of parallel sides, 
oops, I'm jumping ahead. If we don't have at least one pair of parallel sides, but we do have two pairs of equal sides that are adjacent, that's that new shape. That's your kite. Okay, that's the, the Johnny Come Lately, the last one that we have uh, talked about. Now, if we do have at least one pair of parallel sides, that's when you're talking about the trapezoid. Okay, so that's how you do this page. Check all your work. Uh, make sure you got them all right, but really make sure you understand that if yes or if no, then you move on. Now, there is a back side to this page, so turn the page. And I'll straighten you guys out, and we'll make focus. There we go. S Q R E, S Q R E, going around is a square. If it's a square, it has all the attributes of a square. It's a square with an area of 49 centimeters squared, and the length of RM, RM is 4.95 centimeters. Okay, so this little segment here, it's on the diagonal, but it's only this part here from here to here. Okay, so only that is 4.95. Find the measurements using what you know about the properties of squares. Okay, so we know all about the angles. We know the four sides are the same length. Okay, and that's going to be kind of important when you're looking at the area because that's the length times the width. So if the area is 49, hmm, what times what gives you 49? That's what you need to know. So hopefully you know your times tables and you can figure out that 7 times 7 is 49. So go ahead and label the sides. It'll kind of help you just make sense of it. You only have to really do one because it's a square and it has all the properties of that. So all the sides should be equal. So that's just, we're just finding the length of the side. How is that going to help us? Because we have to find the measurements using what you know. And now I need to know the length of our S all the way across and also QE all the way down. Well, that's going to be the same because RS and QE are both diagonals and they go across the square in the same way. If it was a parallelogram and it was a long drawn out shape, the parallelogram's diagonals would not be the same length, but it's a square, so they are. So you could label this 4.95 centimeters. And then if you would like to find the length of the whole business, you would simply double it Add it to itself or multiply times two. And you end up with 9.9. Now, do you have to put the zero there? No, you don't have to. You can put it there if it makes your little heart happy, or you can just leave it at 9.9. .9. And the tenths place has value, but the hundredths place has a zero, and it's the end, so we don't have to write that. The same with QE. Diagonals in a square have the same value, therefore the same answer. Now, how about that perimeter? Remember that the perimeter is the distance around the figure. So if one side is 7, and the other side is 7, and then this is 7, and this is 7, then it's what? You can do 7 times 4, if you'd like, or you can add up all those 7s. And you will get 28 centimeters all the way around. Now, angle M, so the angle, the measurement of the angle of QRE, QRE. So if you look here, take the starting point. This is the middle. And then this is the end. That's a great way to just look and see. This is the vertex right here. Q, R, E. This is the angle that they want to know. The angle, the measure of the angle, Q, R, E, that throws people off too because it's not the point, it's the measure. And that is going to be 90 degrees. Look at this nice little degree mark there because it's a square. So the property of a square is that it has four, it must have four 90 degree angles. And the measure of angle RMQ, R, 
M Q. So that's this one. Starting at R, going to point M, and then out here to Q. So what is that angle? And then knowing that the attributes of a square are that the diagonals cross at uh, uh, perpendicular points, okay? They're making a perfectly 90 degree angle. That's an attribute. So it's something you can count on. It's going to happen every single time. And so that's it for today. Super short video on lesson 20 homework. I hope this is helpful and remember, Got to know all those attributes of squares. Squares are super fun shapes. I hope it's helpful. We'll see you on the next one. Click subscribe. Goodbye for now.